I am an artist and I draw often. Well, let me be honest, sometimes. For the past year or so, I was working on a collection of commissions for a client, my first one. People have talked about buying my art, but nobody ever actually did. And I finally got an offer and it made me happy and I accepted. However, I didn't consider how creatively drained I would feel while working on it. I'm grateful for the experience, but I am also glad that it's over. And I'm glad that I have the time to get back to my own art. June 17th, Saturday, um, about 7 o'clock, and I am currently sitting in my room. I just watched the Flash movie. It was cool, but compared to Spider-Verse, which I watched two weeks ago, Spider-Verse was better. Now, I kind of want to sit here and just talk a little bit. I was planning on just filling out those two pages that were empty that had the word Pinterest on it. The reason why I wrote the word Pinterest on it is because I was gonna use references, like photos, on Pinterest to practice making portraits, making random drawings, things like that. I have a feeling, I'm only halfway done with the spread, but I have a feeling it's just gonna be a whole two pages full of faces and nothing else, which I'm not mad at. Um, I plan on making the second page more colorful because I feel like the first page is a lot of gray. And though I don't hate it, I would like to do some more color. So I feel like experimenting with some markers. I'm gonna give myself the freedom to mess up. I feel like my issue is I overthink too much when it comes to me drawing or doing anything like that. Like I overthink a lot. And me trying to make this spread, I was thinking too much about, about making it cute, making it look I don't know, cohesive, when in reality, I'm just practicing. That's all that this is. Me trying to fill the sketchbook is just an exercise for myself to get better as an artist because it's something that I do love to do a lot. I love drawing, so I want to keep up with it. And to keep up with it, I got to practice and draw more often and draw more things. Something's out of my comfort zone, something's within it, experimenting with different things. That's what I need to be doing. I'm probably going to put this in like a corner and then like just leave the whole rest of the full screen as me drawing maybe i don't even know if i'm gonna have a lot of footage of me drawing it but we'll 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 see we'll see um if i do end up putting this in a corner i figured i may as well give you guys a life update in addition to just me drawing so this video is just not only art related outside of art you guys already know and if you don't know i am a computer science major english minor my English minor is currently done, so I don't have to take any more English classes, which is great. Now I'm focusing on computer science and just getting that part out of the way so I can get this degree. Uh, I'm taking two classes a semester plus, plus an extra one. I'm taking mobile application development, I'm taking systems programming, and I'm taking a certificate class. I'm going to go class by class and let you guys know how it's going. The systems programming class is the one class that I'm taking on campus. I don't record on campus simply because I drive there, get there, meet up with my cousin, and then we walk to class together because we have a class together, sit in class, listen, leave class, walk back, and then immediately get in the car, immediately go home. I don't do anything else on campus. I might change that in the fall, maybe later this semester, but currently I go to class and I go home. And I only go to class two days out of the week. So there's not much. I would literally be recording the same way every single time. And I don't think that would be entertaining. So I just don't record on the way to class. Also, like, I'm walking with my cousin and then we're vibing. So it's like, why would I just randomly pull out my camera or pull out my phone and just start recording? I'm not going to do that. But yeah, my systems programming class. It's okay. I'm currently passing. I'm learning a new program programming language. It's C for anybody that knows. We're working in C mainly, but 
I don't know. It's like the teacher talks and all the words go through one ear out the other. It's just going to have to be what it is. But I'm kind of getting it. Kind of ish. My second class is my mobile applica application development class. And it's a lot more fun to me. I like it a lot. Um, we did this one project. I don't know if I'm going to insert like a video somewhere of like a little mini game that we made. And I loved working on it. I loved working on it. I hope we get to do like more projects like that because that class is kind of fun. We had an exam, I passed it, so that's good. We're gonna have another project, we're gonna have a group project, stuff like that. There's not really much to talk about in that class. It's all online, so that class is cool. And then my third class is my certificate class. I'm trying to get certificates because as a computer science major, how do I wear this? I haven't gotten an internship yet, so let's start there. I haven't gotten an internship and it's about time that I do. So even though I started applying, I realized that my resume is looking a little bit lackluster because I don't have many computer science related things that I've done before. And a lot of internships like knowing that you did side projects or that, you know, this, that, and the third, a bunch of programming languages, like the lists that I see of the qualifications that they want you to have for an internship is crazy. So I figured I would just start collecting certifications like Infinity Stones. Like, why not just try to go out and get as many certifications as I can? I'm currently on my first one. Um, it's, I don't even know what it's called. I'm not gonna lie to you, which is probably bad. But yeah, it's related to React JS, if you know what that programming language is. And it's basically, I'm learning how to make web apps, kind of. So that's something that I'm planning on putting on my resume. It's collect connected to the IBM company, if you also know what that is. So yeah, um, doing that certification online and I made it to my final project, which is great, but the final project is taking forever. Now I have time to do it, which is good. Um, the deadline isn't even really a real deadline. They get, they're giving me until like 2099 to do it. And I'm not even joking. I think that's what the date is, but I wanted to get it done by this weekend. I'm currently on the last part. I don't know how long it's going to take and I haven't started working on the last part yet. Um, the whole thing was taking me a lot longer than I thought it would because I'm learning a whole new programming language. I'm talking like that I've never learned before. So it's like, it's a whole new learning curve that I've just, it's taking a while. It's taking a minute for me to get through it. So yeah, I'm hoping if I don't get it done by tomorrow, this week is getting done. Like, I don't, this week is getting done. Like, I've been working on it just about every day for the whole week because, again, learning a new program, programming language is a large learning curve. So, I'm getting there. Um, so, school-wise, that's all I've, that's been going on. Life-wise, mm, not much, to be honest. Like, outside of just school, I'm sorry for shaking the camera, but outside of just school, like, there's not really much going on one thing that i will say has been on my mind recently it is june 17th next month is july my birthday is july 21st i am turning 20. i am turning 20. i feel like i need to start living my life a little bit more intentionally because i am turning 20. like that's so crazy to me like I don't understand I don't know where the decades went it's only two decades but still as somebody that's turning 20 I feel like I'm not where I want to be I need to spread my wings out like a lot more a lot more it's, it's sad how often I stay at home and don't it's not that I don't do anything I just I don't go out not in like a party type of way but just like interacting interacting with people type of way like I need to like spread my wings more so i am kind of just like bracing myself for turning 20 i guess like bracing myself for that change i'm still going to be the same person but i'm just realizing that hey time is passing maybe i should do something with it you know so yeah um i'm using my arm to hold my phone up to record this and it's getting tired if you see the camera shaking that's that's very much why i'm using my other arm to support this one because my tripod is downstairs and I wanted to record this so yeah I don't know how I'm gonna edit the rest of this video but that's my little life update my little art update if the rest of the video ends up being music a hey, it's just gonna have to be what it is um but I hope you guys enjoy the rest
I'm gonna let future me handle it because at this point I'm just rambling. So 